everyone. Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I'm hoping to tease you into pushing that button. This past fall, I completed my 38th year coaching football when I was a defensive coordinator, but over that time, I've also been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I'd like to talk to you about one of our sniper games that we call Queen Bronco. Okay, and it's out of our 58 front, which I'll go over with you in the diagram. Okay, and we use it when we're expecting either zone or power read and RPO. All right, but we run it anyway if it doesn't happen. So this is usually a call that we'll make against teams. That's a big component of their offense, not just a once in a lifetime, you know, once in a while, excuse me, thing. So, okay. So the key terms are over here to help you better understand what Queen Bronco is and then how we execute it over here. I'll bring all those things into play for you, okay? So the first key term is Queen itself. Queen takes aim at the quarterback read, okay, which is a sniper game philosophy. Not subscribers you have access to everything in the not sniper game playlist if you push that button. So we're not taking aim at the quarterback, but we're taking at the quarterback's read. You know, roughly 10 plus years ago, thereabouts, when this all started happening, I mean, offense has had us on our heels, right? So this is our way of taking the read out of it, dictating it to the offense, okay? And we do it in these sniper games, we do it for both the zone and the power read. It's all built in, as you'll see, okay? So this is us taking back a little bit of control. So it involves letter A, it involves the D-line, inside linebacker, and outside linebackers. And it's best versus an offset halfback because then that really sets the table for both zone and power read. Uh, when it's pistol, I mean, you can run it, but you got to have like just <laughs> real definitive tendencies as to which direction it's going to go. So we don't necessarily run these versus pistol to answer that question, right? And if it's under center, there is no zone read or power read anyway. <clears throat> Letter B, the quarterback read, it's keep versus zone read, and it's give versus power read. Okay, so we'll show you how that plays out. Okay, so number two, the purpose of Queen Bronco, first and foremost, letter A, determine the reads for the quarterback, first and foremost. And the pass portion of it will show you how that's dictated as well by Bronco. Letter B allows us to mix up the quarterback defenders. Letter C it allows us to have multiple quarterback defenders. And letter D, we can sell out on the dive versus zone read, and we can sell out on the inside portion of power read, which is – the quarterback okay so then number three what is Bronco well the best part is letter A it's essentially it's gray four okay so for the secondary it's gray four so the secondary they're past defenders see a big part of defending the RPO you got to designate who the run defenders are who the pass defenders are. And whenever possible, don't put any of them in a conflict where they got to do both, right? Because that's what the offense is trying to do, put us in conflict, okay? So I'm going to show you how we avoid putting our defenders in conflict in this sniper game, all our sniper games, but since this presentation is on Queen Bronco, how we do that in Queen Bronco, okay? Letter B, the outside linebacker on halfback side, who I erased before. Here we go. My apologies. In this case is the dime. He is static in the window. Static in the window. Still orbit because two is removed. And what that means, he's got quarterback. You'll see. And if he's static in the window, he's eliminating number one coming in just by standing there. So we're going to show you that momentarily. Okay, and no, he's not in conflict by being static, as you'll see. 
And then letter C, the inside linebacker halfback side. Okay, he too is static, and that's an automatic for us anyway, whether or not we're even running a sniper game. You get an offset halfback, inside linebacker, screaming static. That's just built in. Okay, so because it's built in, we're not asking our players to really do anything new here or different. All right, so as a static defender, what these arrows mean is he's a quarterback defender this way. That would be zone read. He's a quarterback defender this way. That would be power read. That's just built into our system. And by being static, he helps eliminate number two coming in. And we'll show you how that works. Again, he's not in conflict either. Okay? So now we're going to come over here and show you how this plays out. Okay? So 58 front means we have two five techniques in our 3-4, okay, which bumps the outside line to the attached on the tight end to a 9 technique, okay? So the first thing I will do is I will draw up what the defensive line is doing and what their assignments are, okay, in Queen Bronco. So the reason we're in our 58, okay, this allows the defensive end on the call side to Friction and bend. Friction means he's knocking two hands on the, the, the uh, fin, shoulders, and the side. So we get shoulder and side. Can't get really into the technique. But that's friction for us. Knock him off course and bend down the line. Okay. Friction and bend, which is why we put him in a five technique. So versus zone read, right? So zone read will be the solid line. He's a dive defender. Power read will be the dash line. Versus power read, okay? He's going to continue for quarterback. Remember, multiple quarterback defenders. Okay, nose guard, okay, here's the lucky call, because the halfback is left, we're saying west, 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 lucky, west, 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 lucky, non-subscribers push the button, nose goes away from the call, ball snap, boom, he's slanting and penetrating, a gap away from the call, right, so he's obviously dive on the zone read, quarterback on the power read. If he gets a down block from the guard, he's going to cross the face of the guard. Okay? So he gets that. He's going to cross the face of the guard. Okay? Defensive end away from the lucky. In this case, he's crossing the tackle's face. He is tagging B-gap. Tag just means he's going to cross the face of the, of the man he's on. Okay? His pressure key. Cross the face, you press your key, it's a tag. Not, not a big deal. It's just the way we teach it. Okay, so obviously he too has died, but here's your quarterback. Hence, that is why on this, right, it's a keep. We're dictating the read. On the power, it's a give. We're dictating the read. Okay, so that takes care of that. So then now, what happens here? On the zone read, he's opening up. He reads the end man in the line of scrimmage, right? He's bending, so he keeps. Now his eyes go here, right? RPO. He ain't moving. By sitting there in the window, if you got a slant, it's going to be tough to throw. If you got to any type of a hitch, anything coming in the window, I'm not going to get into all the different route combinations. It's going to be tough. So now if you get the quarterback here and he's sitting, 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 he's either going to stop running, which he isn't, or he's going to have to tuck it and go. And so as he nears the line of scrimmage, that's when he becomes a quarterback defender. So we're just asking him to sit there and make the quarterback decide. That's not putting our guy in conflict. That's putting the quarterback in conflict, okay? So this is what I meant earlier. I'll explain over here how none of our guys are in conflict. Same, too, is for the inside linebacker. 
Static for an inside linebacker means he's at four yards. He's sitting and zitting, reading the mesh. If the quarterback screws up and gives it, he's going to fold in. But if the quarterback keeps it like he should, he's a quarterback defender. Inside out. Now, right again, similar here, except he's moving. You're thinking quarterback. But as you're coming down, you get your eyes on the quarterback. If he pulls the ball up to throw, we just say, get your hands up at the last second. Again, he's not in conflict. He is the quarterback. And that's how we teach it and drill it in our static drill every cycle, too. Which in season, that's a Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay? And it's very easy drill to do in a five-minute period. So none of our guys are in conflict. Again, they're all the pass defenders over here. Since he's in B-gap, he's a 51. Okay? It should be a give, which makes him available. It's sky support. Okay? They're going to be run blocking. So if these guys release into pass routes, they're going to acknowledge that first. They see the ball given. They'll react to the run. He's getting hands on the tight end first. He, thinking first and foremost, helping to stop the give route here first. That's his pr primary. Okay? He can react and he sees that the quarterback still has it and help out a little bit late on the pass. He has time to do that. Okay? So, again, none of our guys are in conflict. Pass defenders. Okay, run defenders. That's how we, in this sniper game, Queen Bronco, defend against the zone read, power read, RPO game. So as I said at the beginning, subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I hope I tease you into pushing the button. Everybody, questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. I want to thank you for watching MJS Coaching Football, and I want to thank YouTube for providing this platform.